not only can we read from a file using Perl, we can also write data back to our text files. The syntax for this is very similar. We open a file handle. We're going to call it the file, not very imaginatively, but quite descriptively. And then we give the file name here. The difference is we've included a greater than sign before the beginning of the file. Now that's not part of the file name itself. That's telling Perl that this is opening the file for writing. And it's a specific kind of way of writing to the file as well. What this greater than sign is telling Perl is that we want to wipe the entire contents of the file and then prepare it for putting new data in in its place. Obviously, this is not something that should be done lightly. If there's any chance that we'll need the data in that text file at any point later on. We don't, however, have to wipe everything out of a text file in order to write to it. We could also leave the contents of the file in place and add whatever new data we're going to add to the text file onto the end. We can do this by using two greater than signs. And that tells Perl to open the file for writing, but to append the contents to the end rather than scratching out everything that's in there. Once we've got our file handle open for writing, we then simply print to the file handle. Normally we've seen the print function in the contents of writing output to the user, but this is simply doing the same thing but sending it to a file instead. You'll notice we don't need to use a comma here. We just specify the file handle and then the text that we're going to use as our output.